What do good readers do when they do not know how to read a word? For example, N-O-T-E, note. In this lesson, you will learn that good readers solve tricky words by using the bossy E strategy. Some of the letters in our alphabet are vowels, A, E, I, O, and U. Each of the vowels has a short vowel sound and a long vowel sound. Short A, like in the word cap. Long A, like in the word cape. Short E, like in the word pet. Long E, like in the name Pete. Short I, like in the word bit. Long I, like in the word bite. Short O, like in the word not. Long O, like in the word note. Short U, like in the word cut. And long U, like in the word cute. A common mistake good readers sometimes make is that they say the sound for the letter E at the end of a word that follows a VCE pattern or a vowel consonant E pattern. For example, in this word, we do not read this word snake E, we read the word snake and the E is silent. When a word follows the word pattern vowel consonant E, we have good information about how to say that word. In this pattern, the E on the end of the word is very bossy. This E tells the vowel what to do. So the word pattern, vowel, consonant, E at the end of the word, tells the vowel in the word to say its name. It would say, I. So we would read this word, side, and the E would stay silent. Let's see if we can figure out this word by using the bossy E strategy and following the VCE word pattern. I have this word here, N-O-T-E. I want to see if it follows the vowel consonant E word pattern. I'm going to look at the last three letters of the word. O is a vowel. T is not a vowel. T is a consonant. And then there's an E at the end. This word follows the VCE word pattern. Vowel, consonant, E at the end. I know that the vowel O is going to say O when I read the word because there is a bossy E. Then I have to remember to keep the E silent. Let me try and read the word. N oat. Note, I kept the E silent. So to solve tricky words, I can first check for the VCE word pattern. Then I can say the vowel's name and keep the E silent. Last, I blend all the sounds and read the word. Let's try these steps with the word on this page. C-U-B-E. I want to see if the word follows the vowel consonant E word pattern. So I'm going to look at the last three letters of the word. I see that U is a vowel. I see that there is a B. B is not a vowel. It is a consonant. And I see that there is an E at the end of the word. Yes, this word follow, follows the vowel consonant E word pattern. V-C-E. I know that the vowel U is going to say its name U when I read the word because of that bossy E. But then I have to remember to keep the E silent. Let's read the word. K -ube. Cube. Cube is the word. I kept the E silent. So to solve tricky words, one thing I can do is first check to see if the word has a VCE word pattern, then say the vowel's name and keep the E silent, and finally, blend all the sounds and read the word. In this lesson, you have learned how good readers solve tricky words by using the bossy E strategy.